Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab. And I'm doing another article video for SwingSmarter.com on the spine engine being the driver of the swing. In the article, just briefly, we talked about a couple things where the myth of the rotational and linear war that is going on online, it's not a rotational or linear thing. It's the it's all about what the spine is doing in the swing and a lot of times when we don't look at what the spine's doing hitters like pool holes or some of these guys that have a quote unquote no stride we miss out on what's really happening in the swing and how a hitter like him even though he's been struggling as of late because of injuries the last couple of years how he's been able to prolong over a decade of hitting over 300 with over 30 home runs over 100 RBIs there's things that we're missing because we're not looking in the right places and in this video hopefully we'll give you a little bit more focus on what's really happening with these elite hitters but we're looking at that the myth of rotational linear hitting in this article we talk about the spine engine what, what that means we're going to talk about that in this video and if you want to hit like top MLB players you're going to definitely watch this video so here's the deal the spine engine you know, we're going to be lo looking at Barry Bonds steroids aside the guy was phenomenal before before he even got on it. They just turned Superman into Super Superman. Helped him recover a lot faster. But what I want you to look at with Bonds is that besides forward momentum, now he, he had some forward momentum, but in this video we're not t talking so much about that. He's unweighting this bat pretty well. But I want you to look at his spine engine. Now there's three, according to Serge Grakovetsky, he did a an article called The Coupled Motion of the Spine and the book called Dynamic Body. It was a collaborative effort of a bunch of different authors. And he talks about there's three different motions that the spine does. There's flexion, extension, which flexion would be like just picture yourself doing a crunch. That's a flexion of the spine. Extension would be like arching your back or it doesn't even have to be extension, extension. He, Serge calls it, Dr. Serge calls it lordosis, which is just the fact that you're standing upright and have that nice little curve in your in your lower lumbar. Then there there is so he couples those two together. Then there's side bending or lateral flexion. Where just think of that like tipping at the waist, tipping their upper body at the waist to the side. And then there is axial rotation, which is as for hitting, that's what we want to be our last motion. And Dr. Serge says if you do two of them, then always almost always the end result is the third one. So for these hitters, we have to we have to get flexion extension first, then see some side bending to get our axial rotation. So let's see how Bonds does this. So as you can see already, in Bonds' setup, you can already see, this is a kind of a brief thing here, you can see that Bonds already gets lateral flexion. You can see this down angle of the shoulders as he does his little bat tip thing. So I just wanted to show you that this is a close-up of that. So with the front view, He's already in that down shoulder angle, and you're going to see him even go more as he finds the pitcher. See, this movement here, this is what you see pool holes do a little bit. Watch the shoulder angle, and that's the key on seeing lateral flexion in the spine. So we see that shoulder angle come down, which means that the, the, we have to be side bending. And before that even happens, we're going to see him into a, an extension position with his with his back, which is right here. We get a straight line, straight up right like this. Then as he goes into his swing here, you're going to see this line lateral flexing. So this is just showing that he's going and flexing sideways at the spine. We're almost like this hip, this front hip, and this this front shoulder are coming together. And then from there, you're going to get axial rotation with the spine. So the spine and pelvis together, you're going to see the hips turn. It's not a, and we go, went over this in the article a little bit, it's not a upper body being the passenger. Let's see if I can draw a circle around the. It's not his upper body being the passenger and the lower half being the locomotion and the spine being irrelevant that's one of the big one of the big philosophies out there 
the spine, everything has to move through the spine. And that's what we're doing with bonds. I'm going to show you a chest on view. This is a home run he hit to right. And this was, yeah, definitely steroid era. But that aside, we're looking at his movement of the spine. You can really see this here. This is he's going into pitchers releasing the ball and he's going into his, his forward momentum strides. So you can see lateral flexing. Okay, gets a little bit of forward momentum. Remember, Bonds was a big guy. He didn't have to get a lot of momentum, but you do see those hips if, see if we can draw a little circle right here at his front hip, and you're going to see how much he comes forward before he goes into axial rotation. So hips down here, so it's about, about there. So he does move a little bit. And before even he went into the lateral flexing of the spine, you saw the extension. And you see him going to extension here too. This is an extension position. This is an extension position too with the spine. But you'll, with most of these high-level athletes, you'll see very, very good spine and head alignment through the whole swing. You won't see their chin go to their chest or their head go back like you're trying to crack your neck, you'll see that head state right in line with the spine the whole time. A lot of times I see with my younger athletes is they'll, they'll drop the head down, chin to chest, or their head will come rock back, and that, you don't see that in elite athletes. You want, you want to make sure that with that head stays in line with the spine there. But we saw extension, flexion, and then going into actual rotation. I'll just look from the back view. You can really see this front shoulder disappear, similar to Babe Ruth when he goes in so that's that this shoulder is that X that we talked about X pattern the catapult loading system you'll see this front shoulder coming in to this this front hip and then this area here is disappearing or it's getting larger the the measurement is getting larger but you'll see this bending down to the shoulders down showing lateral flexion so the shoulder and this hip are getting shorter the distance between them is getting shorter and then you'll see him go into erase all that. And he'll go into extension here, and then into axial rotation. A home run to right field. So that is it in a nutshell. As the spine engine is what drives a hitter. Now I want you to really focus when you're watching these hitters, these elite hitters, is to watch what their spine's doing. Not all hitters do the same thing, but you'll see this spine working. Hope you liked the video. Remember, we're sw swinging smarter by moving better.